Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE's Roadblock, the live event spectacle on the way to WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar, oh my, he is ready for live action here tonight. Brock Lesnar taking on Bray Wyatt. Upcoming right here on this live event. What a special night this is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, because Brock Lesnar is here to prepare for, of course, Dean Ambrose, who was put in the place of Bray Wyatt for the WrestleMania showdown. Reason being is because Dean Ambrose is absolutely too over for anyone to ignore. It's going to be Ambrose and Lesnar in just a few weeks at WWE's huge spectacle that is known as WrestleMania as Bray Wyatt and his damn lantern coming to the ring. What's always bothered me you know, about Bray Wyatt's entrance is because it's not a fucking candle. It's not a lamp lighter nothing it's actually just an led light and as he blows on it there's a little button on the side that he presses so he goes and then he presses the button and then when he presses the button the light goes out to simulate the fact that he's actually blowing a candle out or blowing the the light from the lamp light around that's not the case he's been deceiving us this entire time and it's not something that i am Proud of it all, to be honest. But Bray Wyatt is Bray Wyatt, and Brock Lesnar is Brock Lesnar. And this is a show. Look, boom! There it is. There it is. And Bray Wyatt now ready for action. It is beast versus beast. Except one of them emanates from the swamps. One of them lives in dirt, I would imagine. And the other shoots deer and lives on a farm. And eats cereal, I bet. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what exactly happens in this live event spectacle. WWE Roadblock. Here we go. The two monsters ready to, oh, wait a second, lock up center of the ring. And Brock Lesnar going right after Bray Wyatt. Wyatt being sent all the way into the corner. Wait a second, and Lesnar taking the big old fat body of Bray Wyatt. And look at this, the knees buried right into the face of Bray Wyatt. And if Ambrose is on the receiving end of those types of knees, Lesnar is going to come out on top. Oh my, wait a second, Bray Wyatt comes right back in, no sells any of the offense that Brock Lesnar just dished out and gave him a big old swinging twisting suplex. And look at this, notice that Bray Wyatt does not have an elbow pad on that left elbow and now just delivering a little bit of, oh, oh another one. If it works the first time, why try anything else is what Brock Lesnar or sorry, Bray Wyatt is probably thinking. And look at this. Lesnar saying no to that. Huge right hand. And these two men who were set to face at WrestleMania this year are not going to be doing so anymore. Why? Because nobody would ever believe Bray Wyatt to win any sort of match. So that's very interesting. Vince McMahon just saw how over... Um, Dean Ambrose was and, and how believable it is for him even as an underdog to provide any sort of unpredictability in terms of beating Rock Lesnar and Lesnar now just absolutely teeing off on Bray Wyatt look at this oh nice shot another one and a cover smart idea to put away the beast the Beast wants to put away the Beast. Why? Because he wants to spend and expend as less energy as possible in these live event environments. Lesnar is not there to impress. Lesnar is there to defeat, conquer, destroy, and eat. And look at this. Lesnar being controlled and, oh my, dumped unceremoniously. From the inside of the ring to the outside. And Lesnar now in complete control. You want to show off those muscles. You Look at this. Lesnar, Lesnar, Lesnar. Oh my, nice shot right into that fat gut of Bray Wyatt. And perhaps that's why Bray Wyatt's not in one of the co-main events this year. It's because he's fat. I'm just kidding. That's 
so mean and we're not in a society in which fat shaming is acceptable it's not acceptable and for anybody fat shaming any of your friends or anything like that it's not right don't do it here we go that's the first one German suplex number one as Brock Lesnar takes Bray Wyatt to Suplex City. And look at this. Wait a second. As soon as we thought Wyatt was out of commission, he was not. And now with a snapmare. Nice. Slowing down the pace. That's exactly what Wyatt needs to do. Lesnar saw it coming and delivers a chin breaker and all the way to the outside floor. Seems as every time Lesnar has the advantage and Bray thinks he can get it back, Lesnar is able to get right back into everything. Come on, Bray, Bray. The power of Brock Lesnar is exactly what Bray is afraid of here. And nice move, Lesnar saw it coming. And wait a second, look at this. This is the competition of two judo wrestlers here. And oh my goodness, that's a nice maneuver. He just manhandled him right by the throat. And look at this, there is no move more deadly than this one. The claw, the iron claw, applied with precision and aggression. And look at this. Bray Wyatt looking to pick up a win here over Lesnar at WWE Roadblock. Because I would imagine if Bray Wyatt picks up the victory over Brock Lesnar at WWE Roadblock, perhaps we're going to see Bray w Oh my goodness, taking him up and over. And he got him there, folks. My goodness, Bray Wyatt in complete control of Brock Lesnar now. Something that I did not expect. Wait a second. Whips him to the far side. And now look at this. Oh my. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh jeez. And I stomping right on that big old chest. And I bet that boot is starting to really chafe up against Bray Wyatt's nipples. I'll tell you that much. Uh-oh, German suplex number two. And I gotta say, Bray Wyatt does not want to take a permanent exit to Suplex City. Oh my goodness, another knee. And look at this, Lesnar. Oh my goodness, taking him up and over. And my goodness, what a match here so far. Wait a second, Bray Wyatt saw something coming, a belly to belly overhead, cover. And a kick out by Lesnar. Notice that Lesnar is not kicking out. He's simply lifting up the shoulders. Perhaps indicating a bit of fatigue. And now, clubbing blows. And look at this now. Bray Wyatt starting to feel something. But as soon as I, I you know, I'm really going to revert back to my old point. And that is, oh my goodness. And that is... Every time Bray Wyatt thinks he's got something going, it's Brock Lesnar. Uh oh, he saw that one coming, and he clubs him with a clothesline. And now Bray Wyatt absolutely controlling the whole situation here. Oh no, this could be it right here. This could be it. This could be it big time. Oh my. And wait a second, oh wow, he got out of that one. He got out of that one fast, but no. He went for the belly to belly overhead and wait a second, where's Bray Wyatt going? Wyatt has deserted to the outside floor perhaps to regain his composure. He's gotta get back in the ring if he's gonna win this thing though. And let's, oh wait a second, it's Bray Wyatt. Has he had enough? He just left on his own accord and now Brock Lesnar going right after him. And Bray Wyatt does not know what to do. Oh my goodness, what is Wyatt doing here? He's zoomed all the way. Look at this, oh here he comes. Get this motherfucker back in the ring. 
This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And now Brock Lesnar coming back in the ring. And he's going back out to, oh my goodness, to break up the count. And look at this. Brock Lesnar is risking counting out. Perhaps he's going to win this one by count out. And what a disappointing end to this one it would be. Oh boy. Perhaps Lesnar's okay with a count out victory. No, he's going right back out. And Lesnar now really needs to get Bray Wyatt back in the ring. Otherwise, we're going to have a big, big problem. Oh, wait a second. Oh, maybe perhaps he was luring Brock Lesnar to the outside. Hey, now, boy! You want to talk about a big old German suplex? You want to talk about what we just saw, folks? Look at this. Lesnar now, he perhaps has had enough. And now Lesnar back into the ring. He's going to break up the game once again. And here comes Bray. Finally... Coming back and oh my, oh look at this, every time going for that belly to belly, he can't get him and look at this instead, he's got the double underhook and oh boy, he took him for a ride did he not, what a, what a man, and now look at this, oh jeez, what a match this is and what a match this has been, as Wait a second, another attempt for that belly to belly overhead. And Lesnar giving him what he wants. I think the crowd wants to be taken to Suplex City, or should I say perhaps wants Bray Wyatt to know a little bit about what Suplex City has to offer new tourists. And look at this, Lesnar is taking the big old Bray Wyatt out for a ride. He's look at this one more time. And Lesnar now is absolutely ruining Bray Wyatt. Oh my, a cover. This one bridging two. And a kick out by the big man. What a match here. And Lesnar now clubbing blow onto Bray Wyatt. Wyatt is absolutely out of his comfort zone. Another shot. Oh my goodness, almost decapitated him. And look at this. This, it's got to be over. Oh my, what a shot there by Brock Lesnar. And now Lesnar now taking it to, taking it to Bray Wyatt. Look at this. Oh my, a backbreaker, and that's a big man. That's a 300 pound man that he is lifting up and back down over his knee. Brock Lesnar. Uh oh, wait a second, Lesnar. Lesnar has a man, oh boy. And he says that's it. That is it, folks. An F5, and that's the termination of Bray Wyatt, too. And then wait a second, a kick out. A kick out by Bray Wyatt. And Wyatt showing a little bit of resilience. Perhaps a bit even too much resilience that we didn't even expect that from him. Uh oh, a suplex, another one. And it looks like Bray Wyatt does not have enough. And wait a second, what a match here. Back and forth, Bray Wyatt, Brock Lesnar. And wait a second, Lester going over for a ride. Bray Wyatt looking to polish off, wait a second, and using the fat as leverage there, you gotta crush a man. And wait a second, Paul Heyman up on top, and he's distracting him. Oh, wait a second, a kick out anyway by Lesnar. But was that luck? Bray Wyatt seems, at this juncture anyway, to have Brock's number. Oh, wait a second. Looks like I spoke too soon. Now, wait a second. Nice move. Wait a second. A chair. Paul Heyman has thrown a chair in the middle of the ring. And distracting. Oh, Boise, Idaho. Look at this. Oh, wait a second. 
What is going on? Wait a second, Lesnar's got a chair, damn it. What could this mean? What could this mean right here? He's gonna, you know, he's gonna wedge it. Oh, wait a second. Bray Wyatt now. Uh oh. Oh, right into the corner. Right into the corner goes Bray Wyatt. And that's a big problem. Look at this. Uh oh. It's Suplex City time. That's two. Not to mention all the ones before. And uh oh. Is it time, Lesnar? Lesnar getting ready to pulverize Bray Wyatt. Look at this. Hunting down the big man. He already gave him one. He's going to give him another one. And kablamo. Yeah, baby. Let's see a replay of that one here from another angle. That F5 is a deadly, deadly maneuver. And as this is epidemic right here. One. Two, that, oh, and another kick out, and Lesnar's frustrated. And Suplex is two, two F5s, and Bray Wyatt is proven to be very resilient. And Lesnar has had enough. Lesnar, got him in this German Suplex. The referee looks like he's high. Two, and another kick out. Oh my goodness, I'm starting to lose faith, perhaps. And Brock Lesnar's ability. Oh, and a very nice suplex by himself there. And Bray Wyatt is absolutely starting to control this match. A knee buried to the back of Lesnar. And I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. Oh, wait a second. And no, oh boy. Lesnar now. Oh, boy. Lesnar's getting angry perhaps every time Bray kicks out of that F5, it just gets Brock even more furious. And, oh my, wait a second. He get, went for that knee one too many times. And wait a second, what is Bray doing here? Uh-oh. Bray, what on earth is this? Oh my, he planted him with, oh, that signature maneuver. Sister Abigail. And perhaps this is it right here. Oh my goodness, another cover, and oh boy, two, and three, oh my god! Bray Wyatt just defeated Brock Lesnar at WWE's live event roadblock. Could it be? Could it be Lesnar? No longer facing Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania, could it be Bray Wyatt in its place? We don't know. Oh my goodness gracious me. Lesnar has been put away 100% by Bray Wyatt. I did not see this one coming. It's making me angry that he did because that's two F5s and multiple German suplexes that Bray Wyatt was able to kick out of. And I am absolutely furious. Playing as Lesnar, I did not see that one coming at all. Bray Wyatt has defeated Brock Lesnar. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here, folks. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I want to see how all of this unfolded. Obviously, Bray Wyatt had a tremendous amount of offense throughout the match and was able to, you know, really capitalize on the situation, but still unable to put away Brock. But it was fine. Look at this. Look at this. There it is. This was the end. Sister Abigail twisting Lesnar's head and Heyman is living on the outside. Probably knowing what was coming next and that was going to be a one, two, three. Look at this. Bray Wyatt has defeated Brock Lesnar at WWE Roadblock. Could this be an indication of what's coming? We do not know, and we'll figure it out at some point. Wow, wow, wow. I can't believe it. Thanks for joining me. Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar, the real match, will be happening on March 11th. Join the WWE and WWE Network to watch that match thanks for joining us this is peter chow games and i have to say at this time it's time to say bye bye